Oh yeah, it's about to get started. It's your third lesson on circles today with your boy, Mr. C. Gill. So what we're going to be looking at is the two tangent theorem. The two tangent theorem is basically this. If AB is tangent to circle T and AC is also tangent to circle T and they intersect at point A, then I know that AB is going to be congruent to AC. So let me say that one more time. If AB and AC are both tangent to circle T and they intersect at a point, then I know that these two line segments are going to be congruent. So what can I say here? I have AB and AC. My conclusion that I'd re reach quite simple is that we would say that AB is congruent to AC. So for example, if I knew AB was 10, guess what AC would be? Think about it, think about it. You're thinking, yep, it would be 10. You would be correct. That's all you gotta know. So if AB and AC are both tangent lines and they intersect at an external point, then they are congruent lines. Now you'll have a little part, fill in part right here. So if you could just fill in what you have here. If two segments are tangent to a circle from the same external point, in the example we had it was A, the segments are congruent. Please fill that in. Okay, let's look at some applications of this concept. Our first one, we see that AB and CB are tangent to circle P. Find out what CB is. Well, if I know that AB is equal to 12, and I know that AB and CB are going to be congruent, because they're both tangent to the circle. I know CB is going to be, think about it, thinking, are you thinking? Yup, you're thinking it would be 12. That'd be correct. So that would be it. All you have to say is that CB is equal to 12. All right, let's look at another example. Once again, we have AB and CB, and they're both tangent to circle P. We want to determine the value of X. Well. Once again, since I know that they're both tangent and they meet in an external point B, we know that AB is once again congruent to CB. So how can I set this up? If I know that these two are congruent, or another, wise, another way said is equal, I could say that AB, which is 26, is equal to CB, which is 2x. Well, now all I have to do is solve for x, and we would do that by dividing both sides by 2. And we get x is equal to, that's right, it's 13, you did it, you are the bum. Do people still say that? No, probably not. Who cares? Let's go on to the next problem. Number 3, a, b, and c, b are tangent to p. Determine the value of x. Well, once again, we know that a, b, and c, b are tangent, and they meet at this external point b. Well, I know that a, b, once again, is congruent because of our theorem to c, b. Since a, b is 5x plus 4, I know that's going to be equal to c, b, which is 24. I solve this equation by subtracting 4 from both sides. Yup. Boom. This is canceled. Boom. This turns into a 20. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, oh. And I get 5x is equal to 20. Final step, divide by 5, divide by 5. I put that into my calculator, or I think about it, and I get x is equal to... That's skippy. x is equal to 4. x is equal to 4. And if you want to be a really good student and check your work, well, let's just plug it in. We know that AB is going to have to be equal to 24 because they're congruent. Let's check to see if that works. So 5, oh, that's too high. If 5 times 4 plus 4 should be equal to 24 because we know these are so both equal. I'm just plugging in what I found at x to b. I'm just plugging it in right here. Well, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is equal to 24, and yep, 
that seems to check out. 24 equals 24. Remember, to be a good math student, you should always be checking your work. And that is 100% correct. Now let's look at our final problem. Once again, I know AB and CB are tangent to P. Well, what do I know that means? Well, if you're catching on, I know that AB is congruent to CB. So once again, I'll just say AB is congruent to CB. Since I know that these two are congruent, I would say that since AB is 2x plus 28, this will be equal to CB, which is 4x plus 16. I solve. Well, if you remember how to solve these kinds of equations, I think it's always good to start by subtracting the smaller x. So let's subtract 2x from both sides. I think that'll be the best way to start. I always subtract the smaller x from the bigger x. Remember, we got a line right here. Well, boom, that's away. And what do we get left? We get 28 equals 2x plus 16. Next step, we're going to subtract 16 from both sides. So we're going to subtract 16, subtract 16, follow along with me. What do we get here? We get 12 is equal to 2x, and boom, that canceled out. Final step, so divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get x is equal to 6. If you don't believe me, try plugging that in, but I promise you that does work. So that's your lesson on the two-tangent theorem. I hope you enjoyed and get started on your work.